It's time for Ars' first real fight. He has good, trusted retainers by his side to calm him down, so it makes sense that he's nervous. They were really excited about that fight, but they gave up. It was better than fighting a fight you were losing, but it was kinda dull since Ars had his game face on and everything. However, Vaz Marquet isn't going to leave things alone, especially since he has Myrl's brother Thomas working with him to make sure they always win, even if it means their lives. There's also Selena, the cool and beautiful daughter of the headman of Samk, who doesn't like people getting in the way and wants to protect her family's territory with their own strength. Roselle and Myrel are really two great strategists for ours. Rosal is also getting better at being a planner and managing things well, even when things go wrong. Myrel is teaching her this. Remember how Ars' dad didn't want Charlotte to join the Magic Corp or something because of old reasons? In fact, this is the first time that Ares and Myrel have seen Charlotte and Reitz at their best. Charlotte soloed them in each fight by taking away their magic water supply, and Reitz did the same by lowering their morale. So, he had seen another mage in that group, and the enemy's top mage. What wars had he been fighting all this time? That city gave up really quickly. That's good. It's better than fighting your own people. I think that's what I would do if I were mayor of that city. I don't want to worry about people dying over a brother's fight. I like this Selena woman. Wish she would become a friend, even if she is an enemy right now. There are a lot of writers who don't understand how powerful a fortified stance is. 1,000 could easily handle 4,000 or more if it had enough supplies. Wow, especially that one fort that's built right on the edge of a cliff, like the advice Morel gives you. And Charlotte is the most powerful mage in the whole series. That's another issue with besieging a fort, you need more help. But yes, it makes sense to defend yourself if you're on your own hill. I want riots to beat them. They are really smart about how they use geography to deal with numbers, like a lot of other fights in the past. Why couldn't Charlotte break down the barrier first, and then the other maid shoot through it to hit inside before it heals? It looks like Selena's dad doesn't care about her at all. Hey there, Charlotte. I hope they take good care of Selena. You can't say that Sank wasn't ready. He brought shields that can stand up to multiple magic blasts and enough aqua magia to power those barriers and a full force coming at them. Should they try to take the castle, even though it will be dangerous, or should they run away? Ars has faith in his people enough to give it a shot. Trying to stop a force that is many times stronger than them. It was easy work for Lambert's Reaper, who will do anything to make sure Ars wins. It looks like Selena really wants to help her family, but she doesn't like being left to handle everything. By herself while Thomas sits and plans, even though Myrael can see that her boys did a good job, Charlotte will use her strongest magic move and shoot a bunch of fireballs at the barrier whenever she's not sure what to do. She really tried to look cool in front of ours, which made him like her and feel better. Her body hurts when she lets out so much magic, so she probably shouldn't have started with that unless she had to. Plus, looking cool in front of ours didn't help. From what I can tell, Thomas is ready to kill Sank so that Vazmar can win. This could win over Selena and her father's support if ours can find a way to stop it and save them. I don't know why Charlotte didn't start with that, given how she usually acts. There's a chance she did it on purpose to make ARs take care of her. That Baldy said, we'll win, even if we lose makes me a little worried, but I hope the next episode shows him being shocked.